Coming up on Around Kern County, we're showcasing the grand opening of our two new psychiatric health facilities and how they're helping to serve our community. And we're celebrating Human Services' successful Foster Care Awareness Month campaign. We're sharing how you can still get involved and make a difference when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. We're kicking off this week's show by celebrating an amazing achievement, the grand opening of our two new state-of-the-art psychiatric health facilities. Our Department of Behavioral Health and Recovery Services held a ribbon-cutting event earlier this month to honor these outstanding resources that will greatly support the health and well-being of our community. This is a proud moment for Kern County as we take a significant step forward to address the acute care needs of adults and our youth. The facilities provide a safe and welcoming environment for our community members and neighbors during what may be the most challenging period of their lives. These hospitals join an existing network of local inpatient providers who share a commitment to clinical excellence and compassionate care for our Kern County residents. These facilities are incredible. They really are. I've been in all of our inpatient facilities here throughout Kern County, and they're very special. They do tremendous healing work. They're filled with incredible people. They are created with the people in mind that are both going to be working here and the people who are going to be treated here. And that's something new, and that's something really special for Kern County. This project was years in the making. And this public-private partnership will serve about 16 people in each building per week, catering to adults and children experiencing various mental health crises right here in our community. From the bright colors to the comfortable design, these 24-7 staff facilities will inspire hope and healing across Kern County. To learn more, please visit kernbhrs.org. And we're looking back on our Foster Care Awareness Month. Anna Marie Odo has the story. Our Kern County Department of Human Services spent the month of May making a true impact on our community. DHS joined together with several local partners and service agencies through an event-filled month of activities for foster youth and parents. From educational trainings to donation lists to podcast interviews, we are so proud to celebrate Human Services' successful foster care awareness campaign. For more information or to get involved, please visit kcdhs.org. And our Department of Human Services is also working to bring services directly to our communities with their new Benefits Express vehicle. DHS's 38-foot RV was funded by the federal government and took over two years to build. Inside are five mobile workstations that will provide easier access to our residents who may not be able to get to one of DHS's office locations throughout our county. DHS is proud to meet our communities where they are to provide these benefits, such as CalFresh, Medi-Cal, CalWorks, and General Assistance. To find upcoming Benefits Express locations, please visit kcdhs.org. And with the weather heating up, Kern County Public Health wants to make sure we protect ourselves as we spend more time outdoors. While warmer weather brings increased mosquito activity and risk for mosquito-borne diseases, Public Health wants to remind our community to implement practices to reduce mosquito breeding, especially around our homes. Remove standing water from containers such as flower pots, fountains, bird baths, pet bowls, and wading pools. Clean out containers that collect water weekly to remove any potential mosquito eggs. Maintain swimming pools in working condition. Stock garden ponds with fish that eat mosquito larvae. And report areas of mosquito infestation to your local vector control district. You're also encouraged to avoid mosquito infested areas at all times and wear long sleeve shirts and long pants when outdoors. You should also apply mosquito repellent to expose skin when outdoors and ensure you have screens on the doors and windows in your home. For more information and other safety tips, please visit kernpublichealth.com. And as summer gets underway, our Kern County Department of Economic Development is working to support the cornerstone of our local tourism industry. 
by securing half a million dollars from the governor's office to uplift the Kern River Valley. Kern County is one of only nine communities across the state to be awarded this neighbor to neighbor grant funding, which will support this community's resiliency and economic development as our region's tourism hub with the help of our local partners, the Kern River Valley Art Association, Riverstone Wellness, Sierra Shared Spaces, and Hopester, our economic development team will be holding a series of events across the Kern River Valley to support this initiative. To learn more about this outstanding campaign and to get involved, please visit our website at kerncounty.com. And we're ending today by celebrating our Kern County employees. In the off time of these outstanding public servants, they went the extra mile to give back to our community by giving blood. 47 donors were registered by Houching Community Blood Bank and 37 units were collected. With each unit saving three lives, our participating Kern County employees saved 111 people in our community. You are outstanding members of our workforce. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.